Hi everybody, welcome to the last video of the Asteroid series. So in this part we cover the user interface, lives and score system. For the lives and score we'll use global variables. First create a variable named lives and set initial value to 3. And one named score set to 0. Now when the ship collides with the asteroid, subtract 1 from lives and place this action on top of the list. For the score, when the big asteroid is destroyed at 20, maybe, to score, and when the small is destroyed at 50, just because the smaller ones are harder to hit. We need to displace those values, so create a text object, give it a white color, we can right click and clone the object to have one with the same values, and then return to the event sheet, add a system event, every tick, which basically means always, text, set text to lives, and text to set text to score. Now everything is working, but as you can see the lives are getting negative values. To fix that, find the event where the ship collides with the asteroid, add two sub-events, and the first one check if the global variable lives is greater than zero. and only then respawn the ship. Just move all the code starting in the wait one second action. We already know that the score on live system is working, so let's forget about the text objects. The reason is that they just look plain for a game. Instead, we'll use images to display the numbers of lives remaining. So create a new sprite Name lives Make three copies and create a variable named lives number. Set the instances variable to 1, 2, and 3. Then in the event sheet, write this event. Lives compare instance variable. If lives number is greater than global variable lives, destroy. So now when we lose a life, one icon disappears. Also, it's a good idea to spawn the asteroids only if you have lives. That will prevent the game from filling the screen with asteroids and burning your CPU, if you leave the game running. For the score, we'll be using a sprite font. A sprite font is basically a character taken from an image. The negative side of this is that the characters are monospaced and you have to be very careful when designing your image.
When you have selected your image, you have to specify the width and height of the characters. We know that in our image, they are 46 pixels by 38. Also specify the character set. In our case, these are just digits. Change the text to numbers to see them and resize the object to display the font. You can modify the alignments options too. Then system, every tick set text to global variable score and give it a try. And there is something weird with the font and that's because we made a mistake while typing the character set. Just forgot number 5. Sorry. Now for the game over screen, let's create another sprite object. Name it game over. We have two separated images, but you can use just one. It's a good practice to deactivate the collisions if you are not using them. Now go to your on the start of layout event and add game over set visibility to invisible so we don't see the game over screen at the beginning of the game. Now create a group named game over and set it to not active at the start. Also on the start of layout make sure the group is deactivated. Inside the game over group, we create an empty sub event and just, let, and just set the game over sprite visible. Now another event, on any key pressed, system, Reset global variables and restart layout. So go back to the ship and asteroid collision and the anti sub event we left. Check if lives are less or equal than zero. Wait one second and set group game over active. And that's it! We just completed the mechanics for the classic asteroids. But it's not 100% loyal to the original. So try to complete the game with these missing features. 1. A wave system. You spawn a certain amount of asteroids, and only when they are all destroyed, spawn another wave of asteroids. 2. The UFO. At random, a UFO will appear shooting bullets everywhere. 
If you hit it, it will give you more points than the asteroids. And if you are over a certain point, the UFO will turn smaller and get more aggressive shooting towards you. 3. Extra life. Each 10,000 points or any amount you decide, you get an extra life. So try to achieve these features by yourself, or you can just click one of them to see how it did it. It's up to you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this classic mechanic series. See you later.